Hi guys, so today I am going to be coming to you guys about this wig company on Amazon. The company is called Permal and this is their wig. Okay, so the wig does not come pre-plugged or pre-colored or anything like that. Of course, I will be showing you guys how I got this wig to look like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. What's up guys? So today I am going to be doing a look on this wig. So right now I'm just kind of showing you guys the wig after I have bleached the knots. So my plan here is to kind of go with like a skunk stripe peekaboo kind of effect. So I kind of already dyed the roots where I do not want to bleach the hair and I left it undyed where I am going to bleach it. And right here I'm just showing you guys all the products that I am going to be using to dye my hair. Alright, so to create my bleach, I am going to be mixing the Perfect Blonde and the L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleaching Powder. And I am going to be mixing that with a 30 developer. Alright, so I've kind of had this L'Oreal Quick Blue for a while, so it's got a few clumps and bumps in it. So right now, I'm just kind of taking those and I'm breaking those apart just to make sure that everything is as fine as I can get it. Alright guys, so quick little tip, if you don't have any blue bleaching powder, you can use a blue dye and kind of mix it with your white bleaching powder to kind of create a blue tint to it. Alright, so I'm using a 30 developer and when I add my developer to my bleaching mix, I typically do not measure it. I just kind of go by the consistency. Alright, so the consistency that I'm going for is just a little bit thinner than um, how I would go if I was actually going to apply this particular mixture to my frontal. I want it just a little bit looser and I still want it thick, just not as heavy. Alright guys, so I did make a few mistakes in this video, but right now is not one of those. As you guys can see, I am starting from the bottom and working my way up. You will probably see during several times in this video that I make the mistake of actually coming from the root and then going down. Guys, do not do that. Alright. So as you guys can see, I'm just working it in using this brush. And this brush only made one or two appearances. Then after that, I lost it and it will look very very ghetto from this point forward and yeah i really do like to work in that bleach and as you guys can see i'm keeping it away from the part that i've already bleached because i'm gonna come back and do that see this backwater foolery right don't do this you are not supposed to start from the root you start bottom to top again this is how you mess up your hair now you might be thinking key if you already know that why would you do that because i was rushing again don't make the mistakes that i'm making do better which is why i'm showing you guys do not do this And I do work in my bleach with a comb and when I do this I go back and add some more bleach So I added some aluminum foil just to kind of make the process hurry up a bit and I'm not gonna lie It did not take that long at all. I want to say maybe this wig died in like 20 something minutes Okay, so I sectioned off the part that I am going to be making a little bit lighter because I have decided to go with like a dark red in the back with a little bit of light red in the front. So as you guys can see, I started where 
at the bottom that is what you're supposed to do and then i'm just working that bleach in and then i'm just coming up and this time i don't you know have to really worry about bringing it all the way up to the root because i know that this time i did it right mm. Also, I know that the way that I'm parting this hair looks atrocious. Um, again, I didn't have like comb with an actual tip at the end, so we're kind of just making it work how we do. Plus, these gloves are way too big. I would suggest, you know, for any apparent reason that you're wearing gloves, that you would wear the ones that fit. But my mama got big hands, and I just stole these out of her room, so leave me alone. I don't know if this is accurate, but me personally, I do like to make sure that I comb it and really work it through because I just feel like if I comb it and work it through, then I'm less likely to miss any hairs. All right, guys, again, another thing you probably shouldn't do that I'm about to do. So you guys see how big this particular section of hair is. It did dye well, but I still would suggest just breaking this hair into some sections because I just feel like it would have dyed even better had I not tried to dye everything all clumped up like this. And to create my dark red, I'm using Crimson by Adore and I'm using Jet Black by Adore and I'm going to be mixing these two together. All right, and for anybody who wants to recreate this look, I would also say it will definitely depend on how much um, red to black you add in your ratios. I would say if you're going for more of, of course, a darker red, make sure that you add the red first and then add the um, black to it until you get the tint you're looking for. And if you're going for more like a black with like red tints, again, I would say add the jet black first and then just kind of add the adore to it again to each their own. All right, just to make sure I didn't like mess up any knots, I am taking this little spatula and then I am working it super close to the root. And as you guys can see, I'm not letting my hands actually touch the root. I will go in with that little bitty tiny spatula I just had and then I will touch up the roots and I will also be using, um, what is that? My edge control brush to just get as close as possible because I do not want to mess anything up. Alright, so this is what the hair looks like after I've gone in with my edge control brush just to make sure I've gotten all the roots and I'm just showing you guys what it looks like. Now, I'm not going to lie, this, uh, this approach was a bit aggressive. I would not suggest doing it like this. I would say going with like a comb or with a brush or something like that, but I'm not going to even lie to y'all. It dead ass worked. Like, I didn't have any bleachy spots or spotchy, anything like that. Everything came out good. The hair was nicely colored and saturated. So, if you want to go in on some big hand man things, you can go in and try it. Also, the dye that I'm using to do this is the Tensation in the color Crimson by Kiss. Okay, y'all, I am not even going to lie to y'all. I know that this camera angle might look a little shitty, but I'm not going to lie. I was trying to bob the builder, put things together. Like that wig stand, not even a real wig stand. The light stand that this is on, I don't even know right now. So, sorry, I had to wait for all my stuff to come in. Attention, attention. Future hot girl loading. Do you see my wig? Do you see my wig, baby? Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I mean, I got her on right now, but still, she looks so cute. Look at her. Look at her. All right, y'all. So this is after I got all my lights and stuff. Look at her on a real wig stand looking like somebody. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, this was literally, because, again, like I said, I had to wait for the stuff to come. So this was literally almost two weeks later. And look at her. Looking good. All right, because she's such a hot girl, I had to go and spritz her down real quick. Look at her. So I'm just brushing those hairs back and getting ready to start on my customizations right in the front. So the wig does not come pre-plucked. So I am just, you know, getting my baby hairs and stuff ready so that I, I may be the plucker of this wig. all right rule number one for plucking make sure you have a white surface as you guys can see i have a white towel under my wig and right now as i'm going across my wig i am not going over the same place too many times i'm hitting it once or twice and then i'm moving on to the next 
perfection. We do not want to over pluck. All right, so I'm just taking a little bit of mousse right now and I'm just brushing those hairs back. And this is after I have plucked it. And then I'm taking my She Is Bomb wax stick and I'm just gonna put that on the edges. And then I'm going to go in with my hot comb just to brush everything back. All right, and I am not one of those people that has like a brand specific hot comb. I got this joint online for like 20 some dollars. And whenever I use it, I use it on the highest setting. And I'm not gonna lie, she gets the job done every time. <laughs> because I'm hot. Do you see me, baby? I'm hot. All right, y'all, let me stop playing. But no, nah, y'all see her. So right now I'm just kind of shaping the weaves to my head and I'm getting ready to cut it into sections so that I can put it down and I am basically just framing it to the shape of my head seeing where I want to cut the wig. So right now I'm just taking one of my little side tabs seeing where it is that I want to cut my ear tabs. And here I am just spraying it down, putting that on. And I would suggest not doing that first. I would suggest you doing your ear tab first, then doing this process. Also remember that when you are cutting your ear tabs, you wanna make sure to go at an angle because you do have to put these on your curved ears. Not gonna lie, this is probably one of my favorite parts to do when I go ahead and just comb it and make sure everything is sticking to my head because this kind of lets me know if the wig is gonna look really, really good or not. See, see, learning from my mistakes. Cut the ear tabs first this time, mm-hmm. Alright, and if you guys are wondering, I am using the Evan Lace Spray in the black can because I feel like that is the best one. And then I am just going in and I am just sticking this down. And again, guys, I would not suggest doing like one layer. I would suggest doing like three or four if you want to keep it on. Me personally, I am a type of girl that's going to take this wig off. Unless your hands are like freshly washed, don't do what I'm doing, y'all. That puts oil on your hairline. So I did go in with like one more layer across the front just to make sure everything stuck before I put my last band on because I don't want any lifting. My gosh, I look like a black, wet, majestic mermaid. Mm. Okay guys, because I was going for like somewhat of a layered look, I kind of did something I saw on TikTok. Not particularly sure if it worked. I mean, the hair was cut, I guess, but I don't know. I probably wouldn't suggest doing what I'm doing right now. All right, so I feel like these are like the two essentials to a great wig, a wax stick and a hot comb. So I'm just going in with just a hot comb I got online, and I always go in with the highest setting because I just feel like it just gets everything so freaking flat. Okay, so you cannot tell me I'm not living my brat's doll dream right now. All right, so right now I'm just showing you guys the flex rods that I'm going to be using. It's just a variety of different wide sizes. All right, y'all, the dust is settled, and this is what the hairline is looking like. All right, so when you're cutting your hairline, you kind of just want to get as close to the lace as you can get, but you also want to be very, very careful because you do not want to cut yourself while you're doing this. These little things don't look sharp, but I swear to God, they are. So be extra careful, but, you know, just try to get as close as you can for the look you're going for. All right, so I know y'all know I just want to leave that glue right there. I'm just going in with just some 70% alcohol, and I'm just making sure to clean up my hairline. So I'm using the Fit Me Powder Foundation in the color Coconut. And I'm just taking like one of my fluffy eyeshadow brushes, and I'm just brushing it into my hairline. All right, this is basically the outline of how I did my edges, but I did take out some more hairs to create my baby hairs. And I did my edges off camera because it's just a little bit hard for me to film it. All right, after 24 hours, this is what the curls are looking like. All right, quick little tip. When y'all are taking down y'all flexi rods, make sure to put a little bit of oil on your hands because it'll just kind of help with the frizz and it just kind of keep everything just nice and neat as you're taking down the flex rods. Also, when you're taking down, I would say don't start separating your curls until you just have them all down. Now that all my flexi rods are out, this is what the wig is looking like. So I'm just using a wide tooth comb to create separation in between the curls and I'm not really doing too much because I don't want to create too much volume too fast. Yeah, I don't think y'all ready for how cute I am. Oh. 
okay so today guys i just wanted to show you guys basically how i did everything and how i basically achieved this look and right now i'm just basically going to run down and tell you guys the specs my kind of you know pros and cons and just pretty much the rundown on this wig i'm not gonna lie like i was supposed to be did this review y'all like this wig i just been sitting on my mannequin head for like the past two weeks so um, I colored it like a week ago and just haven't got around to like installing it and stuff. So I finally got around to doing it. And you guys, I'm not gonna lie, buy this wig, okay? Not because this company sent it to me, not because any of that. Buy this wig because this wig is worth the money. I know because I, I've literally like, ever since I put it on, ever since I got it, I'm talking every single process it took to the bleach. The knots died very, very, very well. The lace laid. Do you hear me? Oh. Oh, okay. Because, baby. And then look at the curls. Girl, peep the body. Come on, peep the body. Because you see me. This was a 20 inch wig and honestly, I think they sent me a longer wig because baby, this wig is much longer than 20 inches. Like I cut this wig, first of all, I cut this wig. It's a pretty standard wig. It's made standard, um, you know, a two adjustable strap that had uh, four combs. I cut one of the combs that was right here just because it creates excess bulk that I really didn't need. So you guys, big, big, ups on this wig okay like i'm telling you this wig is where it's at everything from affordability to it giving you anything you could possibly want in a wig you can dye it you can again wear it how it comes of course i would say always fuck your wig because it's giving it natural it's giving it scalpy <clears throat> yeah but i'm feeling so cute i'm feeling like ugh, please don't put me because it's giving body it's super thick and please shedding what shedding barely any like i'm sorry i bleached it dyed it plucked it barely any shedding so again that's a big ups that's a big ups i ran my fingers through it i done washed it i done everything she she's been through a lot within a week uh, one nine this week almost two weeks almost three damn weeks damn like please she really just been sitting waiting her time to shine and now she girl now it's just her turn to shine baby she is shining and as y'all can see, I have like some bright red right here. Yeah. Yeah. Got my bright red right here. Yeah. It's giving. I'm I'm eating the girls up. I'm on they next. Cause they need. I look good, okay? But again, this company is you girl, I'm gonna have it right here, okay? I probably say it wrong the entire video, but it's you per mall. Uh, right here. Girl, get you one of these. Get you one of these. This is a body weight, 13 by six, okay. Yes, eat some up. I like it, please. And it's so full. Yeah. Ooh, that's what you know you're doing something. You're getting the little, the little. Okay, let me stop, okay. I, I told y'all everything about this week now, so. I, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching.